Okay, so my opponent stated again that the SAT was the largest component. However, according to an example from the collegeport.org, nearly all four-year undergraduate colleges and universities in the United States accept and use the SAT as a valuable and reliable measure of college readiness. Research studies consistently show that the SAT is an excellent predictor of college success. The SAT also serves as an important function of guarding against grade inflation at the high school level. The best use of the SAT admission in the admissions process is in combination with high school grades. The SAT and high school grades are, very, are both very predictive of first year college success, and because they are a slightly different measures, they are together extremely powerful. So since they, if they take the SAT and they get good grades, then it'll ensure them getting into a good college. But just because the SAT taking it is not going to be the biggest thing that they look at. They also look at the volunteer work and extracurricular activities, which is a good thing because, like my opponent said, we want better students and not just good test takers. Um, like I said before, the SAT is not the sole basis for college admissions, and according to um, the Duke website also that I had mentioned earlier, 30 years ago, the SAT and the student GPA were the primary criteria that college admission committees considered. Today, at such highly competitive schools, such as Harvard, Princeton, Duke, and Stanford universities, high SAT 1 scores and GPAs won't ensure admission, and they shouldn't. Admission committees now consider multiple um, factors and sources of evidence to support the student's application. While the SAT 1 score may be an obstacle to admission, it can be overcome with compelling evidence elsewhere in the student's portfolio. So if the student has better, if the student is, um, if the student volunteers and they're very active, then it will ensure what, if they get into that college or not. Most colleges now, they realize that it's not good to just put emphasis on the SAT or just their grades, that they want to look at how well-rounded the individual is and look at what they have done and what the experience they have acquired during their high school years. And just because um, wealthy people can take prep classes doesn't mean that they will. And uh, because they said that just by taking the prep classes, it'll help them with a couple, um, with like 30 points. But like my partner said, 30 points isn't a really big number compared to other people, other people's scores who didn't take those prep classes. And And just like my partner said, that we are better off using the SAT because if we don't, then the cost of college admissions will go up higher and it will take a longer amount of time and more people just to um, figure out which applicants they want to take into their college. And also, like my partner said, where is the plan of action? They only tech the test, but they didn't say what they wanted to do to make it better or to resolve it better. Thank you.